Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 4.5, Problem Solving, Multiply Money. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to solve problems using the strategy Draw a Diagram to Multiply Money. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin by reading the Unlock the Problem. It says, a group of friends go to a local fair. Jason spends $3.75. Maya spends three times as much as Jason. Tia spends $5.25 more than Maya. How much does Tia spend? So let's go ahead and underline the information that we know. We know that Jason spends $3.75. Mia spends three times as much. So three times as much means we're going to multiply. And then it says that Tia spends $5.25 more than Maya. So Maya we had to multiply and then we need to add more after that. Our question is how much does Tia spend? Which is what we're going to write in our first box. What are we trying to find? We are trying to find how much Tia spent. Okay, now let's figure out what information that we already have. So it says we need to use the amount spent by blank to find the amount spent by blank. So the first thing that we need to know is how much Jason spent. That's the first person they gave us in the word problem. And we need to compare Maya to Jason. So we need to know how much Jason spent. So Jason goes on the first line. And then the amount spent by Maya is going to be three times as much as Jason. And we also need to know how much Tia spent because that is our question. Okay? And our last box says how are we going to use this information? Well, if we remember back to our objective, it said that we are going to draw a diagram. So it started with us. We are going to draw a diagram to show how much Each person spent. All right, now that we have all of our information and we've organized it, let's go ahead and start filling in this diagram to solve our problem. The first box shows Jason. Jason spent $3.75. So we have one box that's worth $3.75. Then it told us that Maya spent three times as much. So we can use this same box to represent 375 each time. So each box has 375. 75 and 375. So let's figure out what that is first. If I have 375 times three, we start all the way to the right, three times five is 15, carry the one, three times seven is 21, plus the one that's on top is 22, three times three is nine, plus two is 11, and then we have two decimal places, so we need to add two decimal places. So if we look down here, Maya spent three times 375 and we know that that is 1125. Now we need to know how much Tia spent. Tia spent the same as Maya plus 525. So each one of these boxes is still 375. So 375 times 3 
and then I'm going to add 525. So if I had 1125 from when I multiplied, plus I need to add 525, lining up my decimals. 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6, and then bring down the 1. So that meant that Tia spent 1125 plus 525, that's what we did, and that gave us 1650. So our last question that we were asked to solve was how much did Tia spend? So we know that last person here, Tia, spent $16.50. Great job so far, fifth graders. Make sure that if I wrote it on my page, you wrote it on your page too. All right, fifth graders, time for the lesson activity. Today's lesson activity has a comparison problem like we were just showing. It says that Maria spent $11.25 at the store and Sam spent five times as much as Maria. So we could set this up with a box problem. Maria has one box and it is worth $11.25. Sam spent five times as much. So one, two, three, four, five, and each box is worth $11.25. So I need to do $11.25 times five because it said he spent five times as much. Solve this lesson or solve this problem in your math notebook and be ready to show your teacher tomorrow. Great job, fifth graders.